up, man? It's Arthur. We're back here in Chinatown uh, in the Confucius Plaza. And here we got this Carl, right? He's back again. And today I'm going to show you one another sanso of uh, Chao Gao Mantis. And it's called Gao Chur. Right? It's basically a hammer fist. And um, the way you practice it, right, individually, it's going to show something like this. 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 Alright. And you can't practice it on your own. Definitely you should. But you also, but you also need to find a partner and practice it to condition your limbs, the hammer and hand, the palm. Right. So here we're gonna show you. So we're gonna stand, face each other. Um, have a good stance going on. We're gonna have one hand out, right? The rear foot is gonna be the blocking hand. So he's gonna have his hand out, measure out. You wanna extend. You don't wanna be hand hammering and like this, like this. All right. So here we go. Right, so you wanna hit. Alternate right down the middle. So I'm gonna aim for my center line, my nose, go down the nose, and he's just gonna block. Right? Common mistakes that might people some make, uh, some people might make, is they might go too much with the follow through. Right? That's all good and stuff, but you also wanna you're gonna lose control if if I hit and I miss. Exposed. I'm not exposed because my hand is all the way down here and he's up here. So um, it's, it's just trying to correct bad habits. So if I miss, I can stop right here. So you want to keep your, your movements slightly short, right? And when you're attacking in the beginning, you can go over your head, cover your head, so almost like a block. Drop down, down the middle, right? Get a little more power into your attack. Of course, once your hands start hurting, you want to switch and alternate to the other side. Left. You get a nice even balance. Now, in terms of application, right, um, there's a number of different ways you can do it. Anytime you see a hammer fist in popular television, you probably do the same thing. Right? For example, you come in this way, I can come in, it's like almost like a cross counter, but the hammer fist. So he comes in, over the top, right? Or another variation you can do is here. You can to a limb destruction, hit, hit his arm, hit his bicep, boom, smash it, all right? Another way you can follow up, this way, come back across, boom, whip across his face, or you can come in, cross, and check again, over the back of the head, boom, like that, all right? Uh, another way you can do it is if he came from the outside, right, he can come in, the hook, I can come in this way, boom, you can hit, hit the collarbone, I can hit the bicep, I can hit his face. Oh, Alright, comes in like that, like this. And then you can follow up with the second attack. This way, into the ribs, boom, or into his face, like that. Alright, all involved a little bit of turning, so comes in, outside, boom, this way. Come in that, finish the ball. So, um, yes. Uh, the training drill is going to be much more structured, but you know, in real life play, like, things get moved out in and out of context. So uh, don't worry so much about the, the structure when you're using it. And um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, comments, drop them down below. If you like the video, thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.